And I call the Honourable Member for Holt. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, tonight I, uh, I wanted to talk about and comment on the pride of a suburb called Dufton. In a recent article in that most excellent paper, The Berwick News, a former Dufton resident and author, apparently, stated that he was, quote, shocked by the deterioration of Dufton. Now, I understand that the individual will be writing a book tracing this decline in a suburb that he remembered, or a version of the suburb that he remembered. At a recent event in Dufton, The Dufton Show, I spoke about this assessment of Dufton and my view that this individual's view was incorrect at best and fundamentally destructive and wanton at worst. It's wanton and destructive because this individual has never been seen other than this photo in an article around the streets of Dufton. For example, he wasn't seen by the local community the, amongst the 20,000 people plus at the Dufton show last night. He wasn't seen in the vicinity of the iconic $37.8 million Dufton College. He certainly wasn't seen or hasn't been seen for many years at the Power Road Christmas lights display organised by Ruth Money, uh, Murray and Jenny Colvin. And he certainly hasn't been seen or wasn't seen engaging with the most amazingly diverse migrant and community groups who use the John Pandasopolis Hall in Dufton on a daily basis, or he hasn't been seen at the Dufton Neighbourhood and Community Centre, and he hasn't even been seen at the Australia Day celebrations at Autumn Place or even at the Dufton Pool. So this particular individual who advocates and put forward ideas, those ideas and positive ideas about the benefiting of the community are welcome. But simply being a critical outsider is not welcome in our community or our suburb. What we want, Madam Speaker, is hard work, constructive engagement and consistent involvement in dialogue to make our community better, not cheap shots in a newspaper article. Now, the uniqueness of this proud suburb was on clear display at the 2014 Dufton Show at my Una farm last month. The annual Dufton Show has become a major community event for the region and the city of Casey. It's a special event because it's run by those who live in and care about their suburb, and because it's held in one of the most unique venues in Melbourne, the iconic Myuna Farm. Now, Myuna Farm in Dufton is a public community farm that provides a great example of farming life. It's virtually city meets country and bush, within driving distance of virtually everyone in the city of Casey. Every day of the year, or virtually every day, my inner farm is open. It's open to allow people, school groups and community groups, and normal mums and dads and kids, and community groups such as Riding for the Disabled, to visit animals and to see them and learn about them in, in a habitat, and to experience them and play with them, like baby animals at the Animal Display Centre, or to see the many types of native birds at the bird, bird aviary, or talk to the resident Joey the talking cockatoo, walk down the paddock to feed the farm animals, learn about iconic Australian native animals, visit the reptile display, or see the wetlands if you can walk far enough at the back or take the train, the local train, the, the Myuna Farm train to get back there. Myuna Farm is a local treasure. Many overseas visitors drop by. One of the great success stories in Dufton is, over the recent years has been the $36 million combined investment from the state and federal governments and the $1.8 million investment by the Coleman Foundation into the Dufton College, which opened in 2012. Now, Dufton College caters for families and children's, uh, children prenatal to year nine, with the eventual goal of providing education to students up to year 12 in the years <coughs> ahead. It offers a tremendous range of services with state-of-the-art facilities, and it also includes that Casey 50-metre pool, which is next door for the students to take part in. It is a state-leading, Australian-leading facility right in the heart of Dufton. One of the best things about this college and its student population of more than 800 children is that it offers families, residents and local community groups access to these facilities, <clears throat> the Performing Arts Centre, Fitness Centre, Internet Cafe and community meeting spaces. And I couldn't finish this speech without acknowledging, as I said to you before, the Christmas lights display which has been for many years run by Ruth Murray and Jenny Colvin. Unfortunately, this year will be the last year that they run this display. Now, Ruth, Ruth and Jenny have lived in Dufton since 1979. For the past 15 years, they've been running this phenomenal display, which is visited by thousands of people. They really do epitomise the spirit of Dufton. 
it's a pity that spirit wasn't experienced and properly um, uh, noted by that person in that article, in that paper.